The Boys with the Stars. Once upon a time, immemorial, there lived a generous and handsome emperor who ruled over half of the world. In his never-ending kingdom, there lived the most beautiful woman, Laptiza. Laptiza was a shepherd's daughter. Her lustrous hair and smooth, soft skin made her stand out in the whole kingdom. Her beauty had mesmerized everyone in the town, even the birds, the animals, and the trees. Laptiza was not only beautiful; she was also the kindest woman. She would tend to her flock and cared for everybody around her. And it's not just the birds and animals. Laptiza's beauty and generosity made even the stars fall for her. One such star was Lin. Laptiza, you have a good heart. We have been watching you from the skies, and we are mesmerized by your beauty and your heart. Therefore, I have got you a gift. What gift? A blessing. On the sixth month of your marriage. You will be blessed with twin boys. They will be your boys with the stars. Boys with the stars? Yes, with a bright star on each of their foreheads. They will always be around to protect you. Their stars will be their armor. Nobody will be able to hurt them. They will be the most handsome and wise boys on this land. Saying so. Lin disappeared in the sky. The next day, as Laptiza was walking her flock of sheep on the nearby pastures to graze, she heard a few horses trotting along. As she turned, she was surprised to see the emperor with a few soldiers approaching her. As soon as the emperor saw Laptiza, he fell in love. What is your name? My name is. And that was that. The emperor got down from his horse and spoke to Laptiza for a long time. The emperor fell in love with the beautiful shepherdess and asked her to marry him. Laptiza, who was also impressed by the emperor, agreed to marry him. But it was not going to be easy. The emperor had a dishonest courtier by the name Marik. Marik wanted his own daughter to be the empress. The emperor, being unaware of his intentions, trusted him dearly. But how can this be? This palace has a tradition which cannot be broken. She is a shepherdess. If she wishes to marry you, she must offer you something valuable in return. Only then will it be a marriage among equals. But she is a shepherd's daughter. It's not fair to expect something valuable from her. A tradition is a tradition, my emperor.、Uh, I did not make these traditions, and as an emperor, you must not break them. But <clears throat> may I speak? I do have something valuable to offer. On the sixth month of my marriage. I am blessed to have two twin boys with a bright star in their foreheads. They will be invincible, and they will always protect me and this kingdom. Will they now? And how do we make sure that you are not lying? If this turns out to be a lie, then I shall be put in the dungeons for the rest of my life. What, Laptiza? No! Forgive me, Emperor. Be it an empress or a shepherdess. A word is a word. I believe in my blessing, and I believe in myself. The emperor hesitantly agreed. The wedding took place the very next day. The palace and the whole kingdom rejoiced and celebrated for days. Marik could not say a word to stop it any more, but he was far from accepting defeat from a shepherdess. Months passed. And soon it was going to be the sixth month. Marik was getting restless with each passing day. Finally, he made his final move and plotted against his own kingdom. You want us to attack your kingdom? We will lose. Shh! I know. 
But how does that matter? I have promised you two bags of gold. Once you are captured, I will free you and hand over your reward. Tomorrow is the last day of the sixth month. I have to separate the emperor from the empress. Go now! The next day, Emperor received the news that his people were under attack. He didn't want to leave his wife, but it was his duty to protect his people. You must go, dear. I will be fine. Naturally, the attackers were captured. But as the Emperor rushed back to his wife, Marik stopped him. Today is the last day of the sixth month, my Emperor. The sun is about to set, and yet there is no sign of the boys with the stars. <laughs> a word is a word, she had said. I don't care. She is not going to the dungeons. <sighs> I understand. The Empress can go back on her words, I guess. No, I won't. This is a plot against me and this kingdom. But till the truth is not out as promised, I will have to live in the dungeons. The kingdom was in shock. Everybody was confused at the sudden turn of events. Everybody but Marik. That night, he sneaked out of the palace and walked towards the sea. <laughs> this is pure magic! How did you both grow up in a day? Hush now! The palace didn't know that Lin's blessing had come true. The star had given the Empress twin boys the night before. Marik had watched it all. Laptiza lay down her boys beside her and had gone to sleep, only to find them gone in the morning. Marik wanted these boys with the stars gone away, far, far away. He had already planned their fate. He kept the two babies in a boat and mercilessly pushed the boat in the vast sea. <laughs> now my daughter will be the Empress, and I shall rule half of the world. I won't let a shepherdess and her boys with the stars spoil my plan. The boat floated for hours before being caught in a storm. The waves were strong and fierce. They rocked the boat hard, but the boys laughed and enjoyed the ride. <laughs> then came a big wave and pushed the boat inside the angry waters. But instead of drowning, the boys with the stars were transformed into two tiny fish. They jumped out of the boat happily and swam through the storm. Back at the palace... <sighs> I understand your sorrow, my emperor. But your people look up to you with hopes and dreams. You have to think about them. You must marry again. Marik, I will not marry again. Only, only for your people, my emperor. They are not the ones who lied to you. Why are they being left without an empress? <sighs> I don't know. <clears throat> if I may, my emperor, why don't you marry my daughter? She knows everything, and she will understand your pain. Uh, do what you want, Marik. I don't care. Sparing no minute, Marik made all the arrangements. The wedding was to take place the same week. A few days passed, and the fishermen found two shiny, shiny fish in their net. Let's present them to the Emperor! Yes! He's getting married today. This will be the best gift. No, wait. Don't kill us. These fishes can talk? Yes, we are no ordinary fishes. Please don't kill us. But what do you want us to do with you then? Take a big bowl and fill it with fresh dew. After we swim in it, Keep us on the grass and let us dry. Who? Huh? Ah! The fishermen did what they were asked. After all, they were talking fishes. After their swim, the fish were put on the grass to dry off. After they had completely dried off, 
The fish were transformed into young boys. They both were handsome with bright stars on their forehead. Who? Who are you? We are the princes. We are sons to your emperor and empress Leptiza. Ooh, I knew our empress would never lie. We have to reach the palace before the marriage takes place. You must cover your heads. Don't show the star to anyone. We will take you to the palace. The palace was crowded. Everybody awaited the ceremony, but neither the palace nor the emperor was happy. Quiet, everyone. We all know that the emperor has decided to marry my daughter. Now we shall wait. Wait. Who are they? And how dare you interrupt a courtier of my palace? We are your children, father. Your boys, the boys with the stars. <gasps> What? How is this possible? This man, your trusted courtier, left us to die at the sea so that he could make his daughter the empress. He wanted to rule, but he forgot that we are blessed by the star herself. He cannot kill us. Marik, is this true? <laughs> I am. <laughs> Arrest him! Oh, my sons, my sons! The emperor immediately sent for Laptiza and freed her from the dungeons. She hugged her boys. Lin, the star, was right. The boys were born out of goodness, and goodness always wins against the evil. The emperor and his empress Laptiza ruled for many years after, and so did the boys with the stars.